Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Northberry Grove King's Comfort. This just came out this week. It's a, another game in the Northberry Grove series. I did play the original game a couple weeks ago. No, bolt cutters. I've got the bolt cutters. Now to get to the car and get the hell out of here. Get to the car? But wait, there's more stuff to do. What? Oh no! And I really enjoyed it, so we're gonna play this one too. I didn't really have any other statements prepared. That was it. We play game. So this is the King's Comfort Inn, which was referenced in the original game. Three miles up the road from the campgrounds. I don't know if this is happening at the same time as the original game or what. I assume it is. Gotta say the King's Comfort Inn looks like shit. Probably infested with cockroaches and serial killers. Wow, did you see that? We just floated into our room through the window. How long have I been out? Connor and Crystal should have been here by now with Grace. So it is happening at the same time. All right, our objective is use the phone in the front office. Seems pretty easy. I think we can do that. Oh, it's this, it's this door over here. All right, where's the front office? So we're in room number six. Front office. The Nerd's Tavern. The Bard's Tavern. That makes a lot more sense. The door looks loose. I could probably pry it open if I had something sturdy. You mean like a crowbar? We'll go find that. Some people call crowbars a pry bar, which I think makes a lot more sense. Because that's what you actually use it for. Ooh, these look like room keys. They don't work on this door. What? Find a way into the office. Okay. Let's just break into everyone's room. No one's even here. Resist government oppression, an additional protest sign. That's Dominic John. He's the mayor of Donovan City. Uh, I will admit that industrial zone across from the campsites is weird. Wow, world building. What are you watching on TV, bro? Watching that creepy ice cream guy eating ice cream off of his head? All right, nobody here in that room. Let's move on to room number two. From the festival site. Under no circumstances should anyone camp in the woods. A killer is at large in the area. Wow, I, that's a funky tune I can get down with. Where is everybody? Are they all dead? You'd think we'd at least see dead bodies. Wow, <laughs> somebody's been partying it up in here. You know, when you name your inn King's Comfort, it carries with it a certain expectation. You're saying that a king would be comfortable here. Well, then why don't you at least have king-sized beds? You don't even have beds fit for a king. How is a king supposed to feel comfortable here? There's not even a box spring. It's just a thin mattress on a wooden frame. And you expect a king to feel comfortable here? A janitorial set of keys. These probably open the sign access doors. Maybe the pool house too. Cool. I don't like this music though. The pool house? Where's that? There's a pool here? Oh, room number seven is locked. Somebody wants their privacy. What? Oh, it's Foo Cat Geek. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks entertaining. <laughs> All right. This photo of a neon cat looks entertaining. What? Hi. Where are we supposed to run? Oh, a keypad. I'll have to check that out later. Pool, there it is. There's the pool house. Give up already, dude! Give up! Really?
Wait, how'd you get over there? You were right behind me until I decided to cut around this van. He sounded really frustrated, too. Alright, let's go around to the pool house. Now that I know where it is. Also, there's this keypad. Okay, so it's a four-digit code. It's not 2222. Two, two, two. <laughs> um, Alright, yeah, let's go to the pool. Wow. Are we tall, or are these doors just really... Short. Okay. Let's try these. Oh, uh, a dead body! He's cooked solid! I'm gonna be sick! Take the crowbar! I could use this to get into the bar across the street. What was the rest of that? Alright. Well, that's, that's very sad about him, I guess. Let's get outside so we can actually run around if we get in trouble. Okay. Now, there was something back here I wanted to check out. I, I thought I saw a piece of graffiti on the wall. Oh, it's a happy rain cloud. Nice. I hear running water. What's that all about? Dude, there he is! Eh, whatever. He has no idea that we're over here. Let's turn the flashlight off. Okay, let's rip this thing off! Pry the door open. I don't know how I did it from so far away. Good job. Anything behind the counter. Oh, wow. Okay. So... Hmm. Oh, there's something back here. Oh! Another set of keys. He's probably opened the rest of the rooms. Dude! Okay! How are we gonna survive this, guys? There he is. I see him way over there. He's looking for me. Man, I need to get into these rooms! Hey! Hey! Check this out. See so you do that. Oh, how did he do that? He's so big. He couldn't fit through there. Okay, I lost him. Took like three or four laps. Now, why don't you go home? All right, so wait, what did we just get? Another set of keys, right? We gotta go into these rooms. Start with seven. Is this just the same telecast that's like, hey, watch out, there's a dude. So I guess we're looking for something else, a postcard. When did the Outcast Island start following, oh, start allowing tourists? Ah, uh, that font, it's Hobo STD. Which, it, it sounds really bad. And it, and it is a bad name for a font, but... Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Wow. What are you freaking... I can't... Can't do anything in this game without you showing up. Okay, he left. He left. There he is. He rage quit. All right, let's open up this. Very cool cartoon, love it. A keyboard. Here's where I hear the water. Is there anything in there? I heard this from outside. You'd think it would be important somehow. Are you freaking? He got frustrated really quick. Okay, no, I opened these. Nine, 10, okay, 11. This is one of the last ones. Toggle light, I don't know why we would do that. Hey, <laughs> dinner is served. The master key set, this will probably open the clerk's office. <gasps> let's go, dude, let's go, let's cut across. Let's get in there.
What? Uh, find a way into the office. Okay, we've done that. Call the cops. Okay, we just call the cops? Help me, I'm at the King's Comfort Motel, and there's someone killing everyone. So I have until the police get here. Wah! What's going on? It's a gun! It's loaded, it has only one shot. Better make it count. Okay. Well, give me a second, okay? We gotta make a lap around the hotel first. Then we'll line up the shot. We'll take him out. What about the keypad? I guess that's later. Because I imagine if this is gonna follow every slasher stereotype in the world, killing him won't actually end the scenario. Got him! Yes! Eat it! I shot him right in the crotch, too. That's gotta hurt. That's gonna leave a mark. I need like a DJ soundboard with like a bunch of fart sounds and stuff. That's what I need. Okay, but what happened here? Whoa! I'm sorry, man. Wow, you just burned to death instantly, huh? Where did this, where did this van come from? Northberry Grove, 1337. Leet. Okay. <gasps> the cops are here. Oh no. He drove into me. I'm dead. Oh, you survived. Oh, okay. Cool. What about the keypad, though? Oh, for now. Gonna be cheeky like that, huh? <gasps> it's not over. Oh, wait. It is over. Cutscene, at least. Okay, we got a body on a table. We got a scale. So I guess this is the killer's autopsy room. <laughs> oh, that's uh, what's her face from the original, Crystal? <laughs> Let's zoom in on her face. So what are you gonna do? I guess just gonna cut her up and Sell her body parts on the black market? What's, what's going on? A thumb is $53. All right, well, uh, that was Northberry Grove King's Comfort. Uh, not as interesting to me as the first one, but it is kind of a spin-off, and it's sort of a companion game, right? So you can think of it as like DLC almost. It's just supposed to be an expansion to the original, not really um, like a sequel. Special thanks to Dom Plays. Who subscribed to that guy? Just kidding, love Dom. Special thanks though? <laughs> For what? <laughs> okay, so we're leaving our torture chamber. Looks like there's a wall there. Gonna stand in the corner for a while, put ourselves in timeout, I guess. It's too bad I didn't kill that guy at the King's Comfort Inn and that guy at the camp. <gasps> it's me. I'm the killer. I'm the killer? Big twist to the psychological horror game. Turns out we're the killer. I got him. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, okay, he's over here, I think. We gotta kill him? That's kind of fun. Come here. Come back. I don't wanna swipe ya. Come here! Oh, he's so fast! Is this what playing with me was like? Come here. Got him! Yes! Die! 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 I win! <laughs> you lose! Yes, got him! Not as satisfying as I thought it would be. 
But yeah, of course you're gonna die if you just run around opening and closing doors. Oh, it closed. All right, this keypad was bothering me. The only numbers I saw in the game were 1337, so. Wow, that's it! Check it out! The Scythe Universe! Scythe Dev Team is the team that produced this. The Scythe Universe has existed for hundreds of thousands of years. Nestled amongst a cluster of carbon gas, it's filled with an extensive variety of creatures and civilizations. From the biggest city in the system located in Macropolis on planet Leia, home to the infamous, infamous violent gang wars, to the unique metallic looking planet Dalvacate. Huh. So this is an alternate universe, right? Wow, look at these. It almost looks like Mercury, <laughs> Venus, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, but it's not. I like that there's a volcanic planet miles away. I like that the furthest planet from their sun is a volcanic planet. That's interesting. Scientists have observed Dalvacate emitting large explosions of light amongst the surface occasionally. Beyond observable view lies Kickfin, a planet seeming to be crumbling apart. Scientists have observed what they deem could theoretically be portals, although this is unconfirmed, but reports have stated seeing demonic creatures entering and exiting. Wow. Oh, it's Ableton. Audio software. Ableton Live, there it is. American Gargoyles. <laughs> okay. Neat, so I guess this is like the dev team working on stuff. Here's a stuffed cat. Uh, let's see, to do. Play as the slasher epilogue, render lighting, engage with community, secret midnight mode. Looks like they're modeling a bloody table in Blender, I think, is what this is. That's kind of cool. Secret midnight mode. What does that mean? There's a lava lamp and a, a PS4. Everything you need. Secret midnight mode. Okay. So, uh, the game Lost in Vivo has this too. I'm wondering if I just set my clock to midnight and launch the game, if it'll do that. So I launched the game with my clock set to midnight, and we are in midnight mode. Cool. So it looks a bit different. You know where you are? You in Silent Hill! I guess, other than like, little red scratches everywhere, it's not that much different though. Oh, the van's gone. Yeah, it was right there. Alright, well let's speed run this. Wait, there's a floral pattern on this door, is that always there? Alright, speed run time, let's go. Maybe it's a different ending or something. <gasps> The keys aren't here! What? Are you kidding me? The keys are in different places. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, I lost him. I think I lost him anyway. He's mad. He's so mad. All right. Let's see. Man. I'll check all the rooms first, and then I'll, I'll look in the bathrooms. Okay, I got, got that one. It was in a different place. So these open the side doors. Are you freaking... This dude's everywhere! <laughs> Alright, let's take a lap. Okay. Oh, whoa! I didn't even notice that. Yeah, tell it to someone who cares. You know, maybe if you're a little smarter and didn't just run a straight line towards me, this wouldn't have happened. Boom. Okay. Crowbar <gasps> is not here. There it is. Never mind. It is there. I could use this to get to the bar across the street. You know what? I want to try something real quick. Let's try to open up this garage door. In midnight mode. It's pretty much the same except there's a bong on top of the computer. Was that there before? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was. I don't know where he is. I'll turn off my flashlight just in case though. Pry the door open. 
I don't see him out there. Okay, let me guess. This dude doesn't have the keys. He doesn't. Okay, so we gotta find... They're in a different place now. Oh my gosh, there they are. Here, here, here. Probably open the rest of the rooms. That's right! Now... I don't know where he is. I never opened room 12, though. Oh my gosh. There they are. Get him! This will probably open the clerk's office. Dude, screw you, man. Screw you, dude. Ha! I don't know if I got it. I tried to... Yeah, I got it. I got it. I opened up the office. <laughs> You're getting very familiar with defeat, good sir. Okay, let's go in here. Anything on the computer in midnight mode? Come on! Call the cops again? Old phone. I wish it worked. What? That's weird. Why does it say that? No gun this time. No gun this time. That's interesting. So we just have to survive for five minutes then. That should be no problem. We can we can run away from this guy in our sleep. So look at how big the sun is. That's interesting. Maybe midnight mode takes place in that fictional universe that they cited um, in the poster in the secret room, right? Come on, man, I don't have all day. A minute's passed, and you haven't even showed up. So, I mean, you better get cracking if you want to kill me in the next four minutes, don't you think? Oh, there he is. Turn the light off. He's walking towards me. Well, if he's walking, I'm gonna walk too. He's walking towards me. Makes me think that maybe we can get away with the him not spotting us at all. All right. We've got 10 seconds left. And we'll have beaten midnight mode. Okay. He hasn't even seen me. He doesn't even know I'm here, I don't think. Hey, there are the cops. Hi. Please pick me up. You're driving very leisurely. There we go. He didn't even spot us. Is this the same ending? You survived. For now? There it is. Okay, I was like, if it doesn't show up, that'd be pretty cool. We've thoroughly defeated him. Oh, okay, it's the same ending. All right, guys. Well, uh, that was North Berry Grove King's Comfort. Spin-off game of North Berry Grove. And I think there's more to come. It seems like they're really building out a universe here. I don't like this as much as the original game. I think that uh, giving so much wide open space to run away from the killer makes things a lot less intense. Like, my favorite part of the original game is when you're exploring the warehouse or whatever that building was and the killer shows up and it's very claustrophobic. You have to run through these narrow corridors and open and close doors behind you to slow them down. It was very fast-paced and intense and I just didn't get the same feeling from this one. Mostly because you could just run laps around the hotel and... I mean, he's not gonna catch you. Cause you're you're like a little bit faster than he is, which is interesting. And I, I kinda like that it, he's a slower, plodding juggernaut of a killer. You know, he's not gonna stop. So you really gotta run for a long time for him to tire out and get tired of you and give up. Kinda fits with the flavor of the, you know, slasher movie genre of just this, you know, unstoppable force, right? 
You shoot him. You know, he's down. You look away, you look back, the body's gone. That kind of thing. Can never really be defeated. But you can just stall your own demise, right? So I like that feeling to it, but I don't know if the open King's Comfort Motel was the best location. I understand why they did it to tie it in with the original game. It's just when you can run around in all this open space. I mean, if you had to, if you had to run from him inside the rooms, that'd be a little more interesting, in my opinion. Oh, hey, where you going, buddy? Ah, I killed him again. He went to the pool. What an idiot. All right, guys. Well, that was uh, Northbury Grove King's Comfort. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. I think I've uncovered everything there is to uncover in this game. Midnight mode, the uh, secret room, and, you know, I, I killed him with the gun one time, and then I just waited for the cops the other. It didn't really change anything. So I think I've experienced all there is to experience in this one, but let me know if there's anything I missed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.